Is it normal to be asymmetrical? So when it comes to pastorology, we understand that perfection is not of this world, but we try our hardest. Meaning when you look at nature and you see how nature organizes itself, it always does so towards forms of improved symmetry. And so human beings being a pretty awesome representation of what nature can provide, it would be normal that we would be symmetrical in the sagittal plane, in the frontal plane, and in the transverse plane. And those are the criteria of normality when it comes to Dr. Brico's method of pastorology from the CIES. So if we look at someone from the side in sagittal plane, the shoulders should be lined up with the pelvis and there should be a small curve for the neck, small curve for the back, and the head should be ever so slightly forward on the shoulders. Our criteria are based on um, radiology standards where there are the least amount of constraints on the mechanical system. And when it comes to the frontal plane, it would be that the shoulders are aligned and so is the pelvis. Um, and obviously that's quite rare, but it's what we are able to achieve when we work in the context of posturology. And when we do so, we have a... Um, much better distribution of muscle tone right side versus left side and so it improves posture but it also improves movement and in the transverse plane uh, we should also have the absence of rotations whether it be girdle shoulder girdle rotation pelvic girdle rotation we are able to achieve these results with the vast majority of people when we're able to stimulate their postural system full-time uh, with foot correction, with eye correction. If it works, it's because that's what the nervous system is seeking and looking for because that nervous system, as you know, seeks a state of homeostasis and balance.